Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Crystal. call it that but I haven't really thought of a better name yet maybe that's something you guys can help me with down in the comments below help me come up with a name for this cooking segment thing today I am super excited because we are cooking my favorite recipe it's my favorite of all time it's so delicious it is perfect for that fall season it is potato soup but if you have come here looking for some smooth silky potato soup this is not the recipe for you. Click off right now, go somewhere else, because our potato soup is more like a potato chowder, and man, is it delicious. Now, I can't take credit for this recipe. This is actually my mom's recipe, and it's one of my favorites. I've tweaked it a little bit, but not much. I've kept it true to the roots. So let me show you, tell you guys what you're gonna need for this recipe, and you can tweak it a little bit yourself, too. to taste you your salt pepper thyme you can even put some cheese in it if you want some parmesan cheese cheddar cheese and we will get to all of that but those are the basics of what you're gonna need let's get cooking the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna fry up some bacon what I do is I go ahead and get my stock pot ready to go and I just fry the bacon up in the bottom of the stock pan So we got our bacon cooking in there, getting all crispy. Now with this bacon we're cooking, there's two different ways you can do this. When you're cooking the soup, you can actually put some of the bacon in the soup and let it cook in the soup, or you can use some of it for the topper, or you can do a little bit of both. What I typically do is I don't put very much in the soup while it's cooking because then it's not as crispy. I put most of it on top right as I get ready to serve it so you have that crispy, crunchy bacon. But I might occasionally put a little bit in it. But you really don't need to put the bacon in the soup because we are gonna leave a lot of this bacon grease in our pan. This isn't the healthiest soup in the world, but it is so good. So we're gonna leave a lot of this bacon grease in here and that will give the bacon flavor to the soup. While I got my bacon cooking, I'm going to take my onion and slice it up. Also, I will go ahead and cut up my potatoes. Again, with these, just like my pork chop recipe. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link here, you can check it out. But just like that video, you can keep the skins on or you can take them off. It's really a matter of preference. of being the chef, you get that, that taste testing action happening. Mm -hmm. You can't cook bacon without eating some. Oh. All right, so our bacon is all cooked. There is a lot of bacon grease in here since I cooked a whole pat. We're gonna take a little bit out and we'll save it for another recipe, but we'll leave a lot of it in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the onions in and get them caramelized in the bacon grease. Alrighty, so there's those onions and that bacon grease. So we will just let those caramelize and get translucent before we start putting in all the other fun stuff. Our onions are starting to look nice and golden. You guys see those there? Next we're gonna be putting in our chicken broth. We'll be putting in the corn. And then we'll also be putting in the potatoes. All right, so we got all the potatoes, the corn in there. And we've got it cranked up on high. 
we will let those potatoes cook until they start getting soft and let that all boil together and get nice and happy. Next, we're gonna add all of our spices. So you can add some salt, of course. You always gotta have salt. And then we'll put some pepper. We will do a taste test as we get all the ingredients in and just make sure and then we can finish it off with whatever salt or pepper or little seasonings that we need there at the end. We're just gonna go ahead and put some in right now. And then also I add Italian seasoning to mine. So if you guys just wanna add some Italian seasoning, you can also add some fresh herbs if you'd like as well. But we put quite a bit of Italian seasoning in there. And then I always put rosemary in my potato soup. Rosemary is one of my favorite spices. Um, but just a little tip about rosemary. If you keep the dried rosemary too long, it gets really hard and crisp. And when it comes to soups, it's almost like having a stick in your soup. So just a precaution with that, grow rosemary. I'm always gonna encourage you to grow some rosemary um, so that you can have some fresh, more soft rosemary. Or if you happen to have that rosemary that is a little tough or a little hard, if you take it in your hands and you kind of grind it together and turn it more into a powder, it's much better consistency in your soup. So we are gonna use my rosemary that I used last time from the garden. Um, this is still soft. It's very fresh for this season. So we're gonna put some of that in there. And again, this smells so good. I love it. So, and this is a little brittle. I don't know if you guys can see that already because it is dried, but I will go ahead and kind of pinch it together and grind it up as I put it in there so you don't have those little sticks in your soup because that's not fun. I always add garlic to everything, so we're gonna add some garlic powder. I've got that up here on my stove. We'll add some of that in there. Garlic powder. And then another thing you can do too is, is the recipe calls for like a pinch of nutmeg. So you can put a little bit of nutmeg in there. What that's gonna do is it kind of gives the soup a little sweet undertone. You just wanna be real um, light with it. Don't add too much. Um, another thing that I've done is I've added cinnamon. But when you add cinnamon, you have to be very careful because um, it can turn too sweet really fast with the cinnamon. So if you're a little scared, stick with the nutmeg. But if you want to take a little chance, add a little dash of cinnamon in there. It's, it's good stuff. Well, time is very good with this. Uh, time's always good with potato type stuff. So I might add a little bit more of that. I think I got some fresh thyme from the garden. We'll go ahead and put some of that in there. Oh my goodness, again, this stuff smells amazing. I'm gonna grind that up with my fingers too, just again, to help with the consistency of the soup. You don't want any weird textures in there. At this point, this is also the time that you're gonna to wanna to add any cheeses that you're gonna put in your soup. While you've got that rolling, boiling happening, you kinda of wanna add your cheeses then so that they have time to melt and they don't coagulate and again, has good texture. So I'm not gonna put any of my cheddar cheese in right now. I'm gonna to top my soup with that. Um, however, I am gonna throw a little Parmesan in here. Just a little tip, a little thing that I do is, um, you know all those Parmesan cheese packets that you get from ordering pizza and Italian food or they come in little containers like this? I save those, that's probably really silly, but I try not to waste and these are good to throw in recipes, even the red pepper flakes. A lot of my red pepper flakes come from ordering pizza and things like that. If you save all those things, they can add up and cook with them. Even the Taco Bell packets, you can put them in a jar or even not and cook with them. And So they don't go to waste, I just don't like to waste. So I'm gonna throw in some Parmesan cheese that we had from pizza the other day. Just go ahead and dump that in there. And it'll just add a little, little extra cheesy note to it. And then we're gonna put most of our cheese on the top when we're done. Our potatoes are getting really close to being done. You'll notice that they, they're close to done when the skins kind of start peeling off a little bit and that sharp edge where you cut kind of has boiled off. You know, that's kind of when you can tell they're starting to get soft. And you can always take a fork and check them just to make sure that they're, they're cooked through and soft. You'll also see the color of your um, broth changing as bits of the potato kind of melt into the broth. Next, you're gonna turn your soup down as the potatoes finish. Turn it down to more of a simmer than a boil. And then we are going to, the last thing you wanna add is your heavy cream. You don't wanna add that too early. It's kind of add it to the finishing touch. So we're gonna add that right now. 16 ounce container. 
So we went ahead and put that in there. And then you will just stir it in and kind of wait for it to kind of come up back up to a boil. It's good stuff right there. The final thing you do is break up some bacon and put it on top of your soup and also some yummy cheese. And then you enjoy. Here's the final product. That yummy goodness. Easy open can. They lie. Do you see this catastrophe? Look at all these pieces. Peel in the direction of the arrow. Oh. Did that one wrong? <laughs>